Members of striking in support forces NATO and U.S. 6th Fleet practice how the two staffs will work together aboard the USS Mount Whitney. The two staffs focus on integrating U.S. carrier or expeditionary strike groups into NATO-led operations. Royal Navy Rear Admiral Timothy Lowe, Strike Force NATO Deputy Commander, says that 6th Fleet flagship is the first choice for command and control platform in the event of a Strike Force NATO maritime operation. The communications fit uh, of Mount Whitney, having both U.S. systems and NATO systems and coalition systems, enables us to deliver this afloat very quickly. Not only that, that combination of systems doesn't exist either in Naples or in our headquarters in Lisbon. So it's a unique capability held here. It's got the capacity, it's got the communications fit, and above all, it's got a great team. Craig Nenderman, Sixth Fleet Joint Training Readiness and Exercise Coordinator, says the week-long training was an opportunity for the two staffs to get to know each other's capabilities. By working through this process, we kind of make advances on all four of those fronts, respect, rapport, understanding each other, and developing patients. Both staff say that they have achieved a closer working relationship and are better prepared to respond in today's threat environment. Reporting from USS Mount Whitney, I'm Army Sergeant Jeffrey Hernandez.